Welcome back here to Paco Stadium as the NFL Rejects will be taking on the Cincinnati Bengals, led by none other than Joe Burrow, of course, here. Here the season stats, 3,700 yards, 34 touchdowns. No surprise, they are already broken past the wildcard round. They are set as the top seed from our um, conference. And uh, I do hope to be able to somewhat take that spot from them to even think about that we the rejects have to beat this team today it's gonna be super hard the rejects are built from regular season free agents only age 30 or older um, players that no other team wanted now getting probably the last chance in their careers to win something to get something and to show the league and everybody around them what they're worth. Kaboom! That was quick. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit more time from our uh, from our decent defense, a little bit more help from our defense. We're still missing a few key players, especially on the offensive line. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. injured himself last uh, week. Brian Allen, my starting center, injured himself. This defense really is super hard. Today we need a great performance, especially from Russell Wilson, um, who has had his moments of uh, being an absolute genius, and sometimes he has moments where I could just go absolutely crazy. When the passing just is super imprecise, um, and uh, you know it doesn't have anything to do with uh, how his feet are set, or Jesus man. Oof, and that's the uh, third factor coming into it. It always depends on how my players uh, are in terms of the catching. It's just sometimes it's so bad that I can't even put it into words. And sometimes when you combine all these factors together, you get absolutely horrible games. Um, we have had really cool games. We have had really awesome performances. And now we're starting immediately with a 0 and 3 for Russell Wilson. Three pass plays and get nothing out of them. And I think uh, Coach Redis will have to go to the drawing board and uh, figure out clever plays here. After last week's game where we really did so, so well. Come on, get the ball out of his, out of his hands. That would have been nice. But Joe Burrow is an X factor. He is just one of the dudes to beat this season, obviously. And there we go. All right. So we obviously do stop him. That is pretty good. We're going to try the run game. I doubt it'll be much better. Oh, Jesus Christ. We already have everything in full effect here. Rattle low line. Great. And check down. Trouble seeing deeper receivers. Great. Now that is awesome. All right, opening over there. Oh, I would have loved to step away, which we actually partly do. But then we get dragged down. But that is fantastic. 17 yards for David Montgomery. All right, let's keep running it a little bit more, maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. Maybe that's the way to find our feet. Um, our defense gave us a big, big boost here uh, with, a, with a chance. Oh, oh, number 22 gets in there. Michael Gallup with an injury, number 82. That was a player that I was looking towards uh, to get some blocks here. Didn't really happen, so I can understand the frustration. Plus, we are slowly but surely running out of wide receivers. Now that we've kind of fixed the uh, fixed the, 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 the tight end situation, we are now facing issues regarding the wide receivers. Last week, Alan Lazard made his comeback to the Rejects team, basically getting not even a second chance, but the third chance. And he really used it. 112 yards, two touchdowns. He was fantastic. He was so reliable. I really enjoyed going his way. Come on, man. Let's just go. Taking down Dave Montgomery here. Three rushes, 39 yards. In the first quarter still. Yeah, that, nothing nothing has happened yet. Nothing has happened yet. Let's go. Tyler Boyd against his former team. Maybe this is destiny. Maybe this is what's supposed to happen. 
And uh, maybe he should hold on to that ball if he wants to prove to them that he's worth uh, more than just being kicked out by them. Anyways, let's continue. Lazard Hopkins, both good routes. I like those meshes, of course. Shit, didn't move. Crap, and he holds on to the ball there. Ah, oh, that was too easy. That was too easy. Ah, oh, crud. All right, I will try and not fall into the cycle of, uh, you know, making a mistake and then trying to play more aggressive and thus making more and more mistakes. I think going for runs today has to be our uh, our way to go. That's the game plan. Forget about everything else. Passing today, for some reason, is not really working. Let's get a touchdown here. Make it 7-14. and 14, And hope for the best in the second quarter. Uh, second half. But, man. I hate that. <laughs> I really hate it. When, when when things go bad, they tend to go really bad. Alright, first and ten, Alvin Kamara. Clock will keep ticking down. We're going to set up a play action short wheel. It doesn't look like a good formation. We're going to go with the 45 quick base here, of course. They are setting up so well. So incredibly well. Oh, let's go. Boom. Crushing hits here. Crushing hits. Wow. And so many good players also. So many good players on the pitch here. Daxton Hill, Miles Murphy, Logan Wilson. Let's go with the base here. I need a block. I need a block. Give me a block, man. No blocks happening. Instead, Isaac Ciobalo is like t mumbling and jumbling and fumbling. Completely messing up that play. I would like to look for Gallup here. I'm just not sure if he's going to be free. And he actually holds on to the ball. Now that is nice. All right. That's good. Back from an injury. That's a shove, man. I don't know what that is. But that is taunting, man. Where's the flag? Where's the flag when you need one? All right. We're going to call a first timer now. 17 seconds to go here. I want to score. I want to score, and I don't think we want to give the ball back to them anymore. So, uh, let's think of something clever. Let's go with Seattle here. DeAndre Hopkins. Can we hit him? Here we go. Kind of try to hit the sweet spot. Stop the clock again. We're at the three-yard line. Now, that is good. That is good. We could go for pass plays now. And DeAndre Hopkins, veteran player, really gets it done. Good job. Good job. Let's. I'm going to be looking for Hopkins again. Again, I need coolness here. Oh, and that is slapped away. All right, clock is stopped. That is at least something. But the coverage was just really good. Let's go for stick spacing. I need one of those quick plays, man. There we go. Zay Jones manages to catch, manages to hold on. Ball stays in his hands. We get a touchdown. And it's 7 and 14. We drag it back a little bit. Drag it back a little bit. Ever so lightly. It's 7 seconds. I do hope they don't have some crazy Hail Mary shit going on. Scoring again in the first half. No. All right. No score in the first half. That is positive. We're going to go with... Do I like this play? I don't think so. We're going to try this one here. Patriot sweep. Nice. Nice. Going through. All right. The stop was there, of course. Kamara injures himself in that play. Uh, not really too happy about that. But the pick up of the first down is important. Let's see. Aaron Jones on the field. Zay Jones are my target. hit him I didn't really want to wait until he gets to the outer reaches here 
Ah, oh, broken collarbone. Man, that's the season. I think that's going to be the season. Hmm, that sucks. That really sucks. Ah, oh, yikes! Come on, man, Zay Jones. I need a block. I need a freaking block here, man. That was the easiest tackle for Miles Murphy ever. Ever, man. Michael Gallup again. Do I trust this one? I'm gonna go for the run play. We're gonna have to get this one done here. All right, diff different direction. That's a flag. Hey, please, no holding. Please, no holding. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. What is it? What's it going to be? Third and 15? Third and 14? Oh my god, man. And that's going to cost us a game. It's plays like these that really hurt us. We can't compensate that easily. So we have to make sure that if we get stuff done, that it counts. Like this one here. LT Overton injures himself here as Zay Jones has a fantastic pickup. Again. I like the players that I have, but I need to have him active. If too many players get injured, that is going to be a huge issue. We're still not at breaking point, so there's that. But at the same time, we shouldn't, we shouldn't allow ourselves too many more injuries. If those happen, it'll really get very, very hard. We can backfill. There still are players in the free agents pool. And um, Miles Murphy injured. All right, number 99. Again, never happy about an injury. But this one here might just help us a little bit. At least on the next one or two plays until he does return. Tight end screen. Looks rather complicated. Do I try this? I just go with something more simple. I'm gonna try it out. It's first down. All right. Al Lazar, Trey Hendrickson injured. All right. It's one of those defenses that is incredibly hard hitting, and a hard hitting defense always means that your uh, offensive players are gonna get hit way harder and depending on the strength rating and all that um, and robustness of them it results in an injury or not David Montgomery had a very good start at first now he's kind of slowing down a little bit I really don't mind that too much third and inches let's go pushing forward as long as we keep moving forward I don't really care I once did a Bears franchise and I had David Montgomery on that and he hit Superstar Death Trade I think within was it two seasons. It was just so fast. He is a really, really good uh, running back. Aaron Jones injured. Well, dropping like flies. Dropping like flies. All right, inside zone, David Montgomery. Let's go. We still have Derrick Henry waiting as my fourth running back. So we still have some more depth. Yikes, man, number 94. That was a beautiful tackle. A really beautiful tackle. You just have to acknowledge it. That was just really nice. It really grabbed him around the legs, brought him down towards the side, so not allowing any gain. That was interesting. Let's go. See if we can't break through here. And yes, we, we can. Derrick Henry just kind of keeps pushing forward despite opposing players in his path. No stopping the man. Great job here. Kal Yashik, I haven't needed him yet. He's also a player that I can use in the running back depth chart. So, again, I have options. Not too worried about that. Still a lot of depth on that position. So 14-14. Come on defense. Please give us a stop. Ah. Not happening. But that stop would have been very important. That would have been. One in a lifetime. Important stops. Yikes. 
throw out a sack. Coming around the side here, number 33. Jibril Peppers, right? Oh my goodness. I was so quick. So very quick. Gotta go inside zone. Aaron Jones is back again. I need a good block here. That's gonna be 6 3. Not a lot of yards. I had to evade towards the side. And that takes the speed away here. Let's go with a. What do I like? Play action cross. That could work. Gallop coming from the far side. Or do I like this one? Actually, like none of these options. Defense is feeling so solid. Come on, snap it! Oh, Jesus Christ, that was super tight. And that is imprecise. Oh, uh, well, that's exactly what I was saying. And it's it's things like these that just are going to cost us. Do I punt it or do I go for it? We're going to go for it and just risk turning over the ball. It's Zay Jones. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I was really holding my breath there. Pushing forward. Converting a fourth and seven. That takes guts. And you know what? This play worked all of a sudden. The easy one before where the, where the defenders were not that close. Gallup got away pretty well. Now that one didn't work. But this one, the, the hard one, that one worked. So, we've got two minutes. I would really like to play the clock down. Uh, we're going to go mesh. We're going to go with a uh, run play, of course. Let's try and drag him apart a little bit. 73. Se mm. Come on, man. That is so such an ineffectivity by and Isaac Sermalo is the dude that I'm really seeing a lot when it comes to plays like these. It's just really bad. It's really bad. Oh shit. What was that? Flag? Was that holding already? That was so quick. Guys. All right, dude. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna take you off. It's second and 22. What the hell are you doing, man? That is that is so annoying. It's just robbing us of any semblance of a chance at getting into the game again. It's just no way that we'll get back like this. Jesus, man. All right. Which play do we utilize here? 30 seconds to think about it. To think about what went wrong. Let's go with this. I'm going to look for a lucky punch here with Alan Lazard. If we convert, we're still in the race. And it's knocked out. For fuck's sake! We even get there! I went for the safe catch. And then it's just... He's pushed slightly from the side and the ball just comes out. That is super annoying. Super annoying. I can't even begin to tell you. Ah, uh, Let's go. That is so annoying. Jesus Christ. Coverage is there. It's so easy for them. It's so easy for them to just cover that one. And again, it's knocked out. Come on, man. For fuck's sake. How are we supposed to get through this here? Let's go with Zay Jones. Maybe Lazard can get over there, but we need a first down. Hopkins and Gallup out there. I don't really trust them too much at the moment. Yeah, it's easily deflected here. Easily deflected. Coverage is there. So easy. And there we go. That's the game. Ten points. We won't catch up here. 
And it's basically penalties combined with fantastic coverage. Penalties with fantastic coverage. And we're just doing this to ourselves here. It's just we're undeserving of the of a win here. It's probably hard conditions. But what do you expect, man? What do you expect? It is the NFL. Why the fuck did he go inside? Why the fuck did he go inside? I was going full sprint. I was steering him towards the outside. Yeah, clock is going to run down. That's a game. Um, What went wrong? Well, we're going to see it in the stats. We're just going to take a look at the stats. Accuracy completion rate. We're just absolute dog poop. And just too many individual errors. Yeah, that hurts. 47% completion rate. One touchdown, one interception. That was really, really avoidable. Um, less yards, higher completion rate. Way less effort here. For uh, <laughs> better results for Joe Burrow. On the rushing side, again, that just felt like that was the way to go. It did seem to work for a while until we picked up an injury here and there. Zay Jones, again, was very good. But Michael Wilson, T. Higgins, just had a more reliable uh, more reliable quarterback. Uh, looking at Al Lazar today, he really... I'm not going to say he let me down because, again, I'm happy to have a good tight end. But he... That cost us, right? The drops today were what really hurt us. We couldn't compensate for that. Desmond King, solo tackle leader, total tackle leader. Chidobi Obuzi, number 22. Yeah, he was really uh, in a lot of places. Tackles for loss. Just look at that. So many here. Sacks, one for Miles Murphy, Eric Armstead, and Matt Judon. Teaming up here. That interception for Logan Wilson. That was really bad. That's just on me. And Matt Gay. Yeah, not getting a chance to take a field goal today. All right, here comes the double whammy. Uh, one new injury. Let's see. What is this? Alvin Kamara broken collarbone. Seven weeks. All right, let's do some quick math. We're now in week 16. So, minus... Uh, that's next week it's going to be six. 18 is going to be five. Five weeks at the beginning of the playoffs. And it's going to be uh, the wild card, divisional playoff, championship, Pro Bowl, and the... Uh, Super Bowl week is week five. Shit. Nah, he's out for the season. So, injured reserve, another player. Alvin Kamara. Would have liked to have him around. I would really have liked to have him around. Who can we bring in now from the running backs? That is not the button I wanted to press. Ah, oh, crud. All right. Let me just wallow in my misery here a little bit. You know, you have to go into every game expecting to win it, all right? I do understand that that is probably an optimistic view. <laughs> you can't expect to do that. But still, it is something that... Um... Jesus Christ, there's no 30-year-olds here anymore. Jamal Williams, that is super bad. Full backs. Uh, nope and nope, but I think, I think in the tight ends... I think we have uh, players here that I will just convert back. Um, do I go with James Conner or do I go with Joe Mixon? Joe Mixon is just so ineffective. Every time I use him, he just feels like like he's not even there. But whatever. I think he's going to be the, the highest rated one. So I will be taking a look at this, of course. Uh, where did James Conner go? Here he is. We're going to convert both um, to to running back and then I will be keeping the uh, better one of both we might even have some luck uh, picking up free agents in the uh, in the playoffs that could happen why well because teams let go of players that um, that uh, they don't need anymore they start cutting players if they don't make the playoffs so let's convert James Conner to halfback and let's convert Joe Mixon to a halfback. And then we're going to move over to the halfbacks. Take a look there. 
Right, just to finish that trade of thought from before, yes, if we... Uh, we have to go into every game attempting to win, um, but we can't expect to win, of course. So, sometimes you just have to suck it up, and against the Bengals, that is the case. Uh, Joe Mixon, 82 rated. I'm going to go with him. Um, I will keep James Conner as an option. Uh, we're going to release him again, though. I just feel like maybe Joe Mixon can prove to us that he deserves to be in here. Um, this game was uh, one that we just gave away ourselves. Again, those mistakes, the incompletions, the, the drop balls, that was just so unnecessary. We did take the lead today. I fully expect everybody to overtake us again. <laughs> So the Colts with a 10-4 and 1, they could overtake us. I would have liked to do that to, to, to really take the lead here. Uh, let's see what the Jags do. It could be 10-5 and 5 and 0. Then they're going to be overtaking us as well. But uh, yeah, let's see how this uh, week plays out for the Colts and the Jags. And next week we're going to be playing the Cowboys. Hope you enjoyed today's game. If you did, do drop a like. Please subscribe. You know, that helps me a lot. It means a lot to me as well, personally. And as always, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for joining me. Stay awesome and see you next time.